Hey, what's up everybody? Happy New Year's, uh, New Year's Eve. If you got our uh, meal kit for this dinner, this is our first course. You've already enjoyed your canapé and uh, your amuse-bouche, and you're, it's time to start the first course. And if you're following along in the directions, you know that you have turned your oven on to 425 to get ready for your fourth course, which is the beef wellington, and uh, you have your pasta water going, you have all your things set. And that's the whole thing for this menu, is when you're thinking about how to execute a course out menu for more than one person, especially if you're doing one to two to three, uh, or four of these, you really have to plan everything out, which is why we, in our directions, we said mise en place is very important. So for our first course, like the actual plating of it, what we have in the box is what you're gonna see when we open this. So we have our rice crackers. These are very delicate, so we'll set those aside. Uh, this is another garnish. It's our pea vine, violas, the herb shaker, which we'll get to, and then our, our tuna tartare. So what we did, set our deli container with our tartar sauce, some shallots, some capers, and some uh, cornichon. So what you wanna do is you wanna just mix all that up. Get it nice and even. No seasoning necessary. The sauce is very uh, seasoned already, as well as the, the capers and the cornichons, nice acidic and the shallots are nice and, and bright. So what I try to do is I just try to flatten it out as much as I can. And then I go with the back end of my spoon just like that. And then this is going to go right to the plate. We're going to try to go to the center, give it a little tappy, and let it fall out. If there's anything in there, just get it and it'll, what I, what I like to do is push it out and then you can always readjust. So it's a nice circle. As much of a circle as you can get. And you wanna try to make it nice and even. As much as you can. I'm gonna cover up half of this, as you'll see later. So what we do is Take our pea vines, this goes right on top. You can kind of decorate it however you want. You can do a pile, you could do the all over. I'm gonna put my crackers, like I said. These can be used as like a chip. You can put the fish right on it. You can crack this thing over the whole thing when it's time to eat it, and just eat it with a fork. But I like to make a little bit of height on the plate. And then we're gonna address the herb shaker. So the herb shaker has uh, some dried herbs in it that um, have been ground up, so it's a nice powder. So you wanna hold it on the sides and then gently pop the top off. And then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna invert and hit it. You gotta kinda play the wind. If you got a lot of wind in your kitchen, that goes over the top and then one purple viola. And that's how we would plate if you were dining in our dining room, which we wish you were. But since you're at your house, you can plate it however you want. It's the whole fun of this menu. Um, but if you want an idea of how we would do it, this is it. Course number one, tuna tartare. 